Hi, my name is Greg Clark. I'm the Curriculum Area Manager of Engineering. Welcome to your virtual open day. Why be an engineer? Creativity. You have the opportunity to come up with solutions to problems that others may not have even considered. You must be innovative to be an engineer. Impact. Engineers have the biggest impact on the world over any other profession. They come up with solutions to problems that affect us all, like global warming, transport, healthcare, and many, many more. Travel. Because engineering is a universally sought after occupation, you could work anywhere in the world. Maths is a language spoken by all, so if you want to travel the world, then engineering is a career for you. High salaries. The average engineer in the United Kingdom earns around £59,900 per year, with salaries ranging from £19,000 all the way up to £127,000 a year. Engineers are in so high demand globally, you will find that the salaries are consistently high. Employability. If you hold one type of engineering qualification, this doesn't mean that you are stuck in one department of a company. An engineering qualification will allow you to move from the sector to sector as lots of areas will need you. Varied. As an engineer, each day is different. One day you might be helping in the build of something Next, you could be in front of a computer developing ideas and programs. You will never be bored working as an engineer. Progression. There's lots of opportunity within engineering to advance your career and quickly too. You won't find yourself caught in one stage of the company for long if you show the right skills and desire to progress. Collaboration. Engineering gives you the opportunity to collaborate with other professionals such as lawyers, scientists and even government officials. You will never be lonely as an engineer and you have the opportunity to be introduced to all sorts of other career paths on the way. Entrepreneur. As an engineer, you have the opportunity to work with some of the top companies in the world. The knowledge you gather whilst working under these businesses can help you to learn other skills on the way. This may lead to you starting up your own company in the future. Reputable. A career as an engineer is highly reputable. People recognise the difficulty in the work and the importance of it in the world, so you, will be, so you will be respected by employers and rewarded for good work. What courses do we offer? Well, we've got three levels of course, one level one, two and three, um, various qualifications within those. Level one is an introductory course and that will introduce you to a variety of disciplines of engineering. Um, really good if you are unsure about what area of engineering and manufacturing you would like to go into. Uh, level two 
is a little bit more technical. So year, that is a two year course. Year one is for you to work towards the engineering operative standard. And that is really, really about boosting your technical and practical skills in engineering. Move, moving on to level two, year two, which is then working towards a technician standard, a qualification that sits well within the level three if you decide to progress or sits well within apprenticeship if that's the path you want to go down. Level three is a, again a two year course, although you can leave after year one and you will have a qualification. First year is working towards a certificate um, in engineering technician standard. This is one that you'd work together as an apprentice. So um, if you do want to go down the apprenticeship route, then this would hold you in good stead for that. But it also provides a fantastic basis to work and to go into uh, year two, and that would then form an entry into university. As far as um, qualifications in terms of how you get onto those qualifications, you've got a variety of options. Um, we would recommend that you start at level two. Um, if you are unsure about where you want to go in terms of university or apprenticeships, but if you definitely know that university is um, where you want to be there and you've got the correct grades to allow you entry onto this course, then level three is where you want to be. Um, we can have, answer any questions at the end of this presentation. Why choose this department? Well, we are one of the largest um, engineering uh, centres in Yorkshire. Um, got fantastic facilities. Um, we have a dedicated engineering centre, as I've said, with lots of um, equipment, high end equipment, cutting edge equipment that allow you to kind of progress and be the best you can be within the within the subject. Um, variety of machines and technology, as you can see from that, those photos there. Um, you'll only be used timetable for 16 hours a week, so that allows you then to kind of engage in work experience and placement and even um, kind of mix in outside um, demands on your time as well, like a job or something like that. All engineering study programmes include at least 30 hours of work experience, so that will be timetabled in, into your um, own timetable, um, but there will be the option of doing extra work experience to kind of boost your CV and your knowledge. If you do not have GC English or Maths at grade four or above, you will have these built into your study programme. So those entry requirements are obviously taken on a student by student basis. But if you do need to get the grade four in your English and Maths, these will be built into your programme and you will resit these. You should choose to come to Kirklees College, not only for our facilities, but for, the, for our links to industry. Um, we have an excellent track record of working with companies like Hovis, Reliance Precision and more recently Coca-Cola. University of Huddersfield is also a keen partner of ours. Uh, we work well with them and we have good, good links with their engineering facilities. So if you're thinking of, of following a university path, then Kirklees College is a good choice for you. So I've talked to you a little bit about the facilities that we can offer. There's also a few more benefits to studying with us. Engineering study programmes that we deliver all build credits towards apprenticeship. So if you achieve an apprenticeship, you will be able to draw on your experience and your credits on the courses that you have studied with us. The Level 3 Excellent Diploma meets entry requirements into university. So we are a fantastic stepping stone for the university education if that's where you want to be. Um, so not only do we support the apprenticeship route, but also the further education pathways. The Level 3 Extended Diploma also enables entry onto our own HNC, HND programme. So you can actually study with us right up until your final year of a degree in which you would then join a university and complete that degree. Expectations. Well, you will have expectations yourself on what you expect to receive from us. You'll expect to receive a fantastic education, access to wonderful facilities and enjoy your time here at Kirklees College. We have expectations too and they'll be for you to be responsible for your own learning and strive to do the best you can at all times and that'll mean 100% attendance and catch up on any work missed by engaging with your tutors in a professional and adult manner. 
We also expect you not to book any holidays during term time. You obviously have some free time in the in the week to do with what you deem fit, but any time booked off that impacts on your learning will obviously be detriment to your progression. Here we have the potential reading list for you. Um, these books aren't mandatory, but they may help you while studying here at Kirklees College, and they're available for most retailers. So once you've completed your course with us, there is two avenues you can progress down. You could either be an apprentice, and Kirklees has lots of different options for you if that's what you want to do, or you could continue with us and study right up to your final year of degree and then move on to university to complete that degree. Careers choices, engineering is a hugely in-demand sector with lots of different specialisms within it. Uh, some are listed there and they range from anything from a product design engineer to a machinist. So engineering is a fantastic avenue to choose and Kirklees College is a, is a brilliant place to study. You may prefer to work, earn money and learn at the same time, so an apprenticeship option might be perfect for you. Apprenticeships take different amounts of time and approximately up to 48 months in order to complete them. And to be able to start one, you would need to find an employer. During apprenticeships, you can study lots of different qualifications and to be able to complete and be qualified at the end of the apprenticeship, you would complete an endpoint assessment in order to pass off the entire apprenticeship. My name is Nick Turner and I'm studying mechanical engineering at Kirklees College. I chose an apprenticeship so I could get hands-on experience, get paid and to get a qualification. I'm on my first year of my apprenticeship so I've got three more years to go and then after that I will just want to stay at my current employer and just work my way up. The path that I want to take is um, being to become a machinist. Well, my favourite part of being an apprentice is uh, obviously like the hands-on experience and the practical work, but also like with the college in general, like I've created like lifelong friends here. Yeah, the facilities are great here. Like the machines are perfect for you to just get started with all the engineering stuff. And also like in, during breaks, the college looks nice. The college is almost new. There's a cafeteria where you can hang out. There's a few chill spots where you can hang out with your friends and also li a library where you can just go to just to learn more about engineering. The tours are great, they're, they're really like, yeah it's in a professional environment but they're ex like kind of your friends, they really talk to you like an adult so I re really like that about this college. I recommend Kirklees College because it's a really warm environment like there's a lot of friendly faces when you walk in, everyone's nice, the teachers are lovely like it's just a really nice environment to work in and to learning as well. There are a number of different options for engineering apprenticeships, one of which is a level three engineering technician. And with this, there are different options that you can take depending on the pathway you would like. So for example, there is mechatronics, which a mechatronics maintenance technician, they ensure that plant and equipment performs to the required standard to facilitate production targets. So they look at things like safety and quality and delivery of costs within high value manufacturing environments. There's machinists in the advanced manufacturing engineering sector, which predominantly are involved in highly skilled, complex and precision work, machining components from specialist materials, using CNC machines such as lathes or horizontal milling machines. There's product design and development technicians which primarily work on all stages of product creation and modification and they support activities ranging from early concept feasibility, design and development right through to the final preparation of launch to the customers. There's technical support technicians who work as part of a team to provide technical support and expertise for all areas of the engineering and manufacturing function, including communication software, testing, analysis of tools, measurement, offline programming, and many other things. Tool makers and tool and dial, die maintenance technicians are predominantly involved in the highly skilled 
complex and specialist detail work and manufacturing and maintaining the engineering tooling used to produce components, products and assemblies. Another option is the level three fabrication and welding apprenticeship. So the broad purpose of a fabricator and welder is to carry out metal fabrication work using equipment such as rolled steel joists, columns, channels, steel plates, metal sheets and other items. You will learn how to mark out using hand tools, drilling, forming, folding and rolling and you'll interact with planners, supervisors, inspectors, designers, welders and many other people that are involved in manufacturing. There is also a level three engineering fitter and this occupation is found in manufacturing and processing sectors. The broad purpose of the occupation is to produce complex, high value, low volume components or assemblies in full or part using machines, equipment or systems to the required specification. For example, turbines, cranes, gearboxes and many other things. A science industry maintenance technician contributes to the fault free and safe operation of science industry plant by the installation, maintenance, testing and repair of mechanical, electrical equipment and instrumentation. Similar to the engineering technician apprenticeship, but as well as having core engineering skills, maintenance technicians need to understand and follow working practices that are specific to the safety critical science industry. It might be that you already have a level three engineering qualification, so therefore an opportunity to complete a level four apprenticeship might be perfect for you. So the level four engineering manufacturing technician provides specialist technical support for engineers so that organisations can develop, produce or test new and existing products, processes or procedures to meet a customer specification in terms of quality, cost and delivery as efficiently and effectively as possible.